Hi, I wanted to do a little video that talks about dipping your toe in because it's for some people causing a bit of a, a problem and and I think it, it it I'd be interested in the wider discussion. That's why I love making videos to talk about the wider discussion on, on topics. So what do I mean by dipping your toe in? Well there's when you've got a laptop, not even a laptop, mobile phone, tablet desktop with an internet connection there's a lot of people out there and they're jumping in your screen face right in your screen face that could be a thing jumping in your screen going hey you know you just click to watch something on YouTube and there's Alex Becker you know hey you can make passive income you know just come do my course and all of this stuff um, Sam Ovens um, there's there's a lot there's a lot of guys telling you you can make good money online um, with passive income and the problem is and for a lot of legit businesses anyway it's this idea of um, dipping your toe in so it's more a problem because you can test a business out quite quickly or test a market out but you can't right so this is the thing you think you can set up a website advertise it boom I can test it doesn't work that way and might work for a lot of people providing those services um, then you'd have to obviously pay money to get them to do that so you do your own website do your own stuff all that's fine I, I don't have a problem with you testing businesses and doing things but but you need to know that it's pr it's probably going to fail on that basis that you've not put the surrounding infrastructure in place businesses need to be established just because the internet allows you to try something doesn't mean it will work and it's almost that, that the problem is is that the internet allows it really that's the what I've got a problem with is people then try it and I don't like to see businesses fail I don't like to see because I'm, I'm creative I'm entrepreneurial and I don't like to see people trying these things without full thought and putting everything into it and you've got to be there for the longer term I've taken on I, I mean, I've done this myself, so I know. So it's, you know, I'm talking about errors I've made, so learn from my mistakes. I've, I've taken a guerrilla warfare approach to to online businesses in the past where I'm... And I've, I've done like guerrillas. I've outlasted big country mil, official militaries, you know. They've been and gone. Politics has waned and they've left, you know. Not mentioning any particular countries. Um... But the guerrillas, the, the people waging guerrilla warfare, are still there. It's about outlasting your opposition, guerrilla warfare, and you know, picking niches, fights. So that's why it's a good analogy. And the one that I use is guerrilla warfare. So if I do an online business, I used to think, well, I've got to do like guerrilla warfare on it. So I'm small, my overheads are low. That's the other thing the internet allows you to do, right? It allows you to set up a website and get everything. I mean, under $1,000, even if you're paying suppliers, you can get your website, get a, even including a marketing budget with Google Ads or something. So you can go for it, right? $1,000. Um, so what's my issue? My issue is, is I just want to save you from that, thinking that, that that's going to work, because there, the trouble is is that everybody's doing it, and every market is saturated every honest web design agency is fighting 10 that are arriving into the, the business. You've got the likes of Fiverr.com um, providing suppliers with services at ridiculously low amounts. Nobody's paying tax. That's a problem as well in your society. You know, you need businesses need to pay tax. Humans need to pay tax so that society functions properly. You know, it's a it's a, taxes are a horrible thing, but you need them. So if if a big chunk of work's getting done and taxes aren't being paid, that's a problem. Fiverr are getting paid twenty percent. They're doing very well, very well indeed. So, you know, again, it's it's society's going to end up hurting from that. So, without wanting to waffle on and and lose the thread, it's a, it's a little bit about just 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 think twice. And you can do the gorilla thing, but know that there's a hundred other people out there ready to do that. You've got to have your niche. You can still make it if you've got a very important niche or if you're so enthusiastic about a subject. I'd recommend just blogging about it, 
getting a following, doing it that way around. Um, I'm not really on board with the whole influencer thing. I think there's too few of them and you've got to, to have an extreme amount of followers on a social media platform to be an influencer. And I think you're at their mercy. They think times could change and it's, you know, good luck to you if you've managed to do it. Um, and that's all been well, but otherwise I recommend just picking up a free WordPress blog. Don't even worry about the domain name, just get people following you, talk about your niche, and, and that's it really. Um, try it, you know, before you invest $1,000 in something that another 1,000 people are going down the same funnel because you've heard some guy saying, yeah, you can make passive income from affiliate sales, stuff like that. It doesn't really work that way. I mean, that's my input, I'd value anyone share your YouTube links below share your responses to this video I, I really just want to start this conversation um, my name's Calvin I'm founder of cams digital um, uh, marketing and uh, digital agency in Cambridgeshire so I'm very interested to hear from you about your business and um, yeah please comment if you like this I'll keep them coming cheers bye